Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. We are still looking for Reef Talon. Tanza. Will this be the one that she's in or not? I see some enemies over here. Okay, that was weird. It lagged a bit. Another one, but she seems so well rested. The tranquil woman's empty expression shifts with a smile. You adapt in time. She stares at you in wide-eyed silence. What are you doing here? Uh, do you not also hear the call? We seek grief talent. Her eyes fall to the floor. She does not wish to be sought. What can you tell me about Lexine? 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 That name is... Something from an old dream. I'm sorry, I once knew, but it's all so distant now. What can you tell me about Rift, Helen? She did this to us. Her comment is calmly devoid of accusation or judgment. Have we been called glory? Marked for cooling, we just want answers. Then perhaps we could finally sleep. Understandable. There she is, okay. Huh, look at that. <sighs> Am I the only one who sees that? No. <laughs> Efficient. No. Probably red. Oh, right. Is this one is different. Okay, you can use full speed. Uh, you cannot use anything really, but you can do this, and I can do my usual. Okay, now I can understand why they would be frightened. Sound is still fine. There's oh, some music that's so loud. Of course. Of course. Hey, all of you, come on. Okay, but first things first, I would like to go over here And as I understand now I will be able to use my Other keystones maybe I don't know The undulating calls of luminous energy atop this platform seems curiously at pace. 
Robin. I wonder why it's not trying to kill us. Uh, let's not stick around to find out. Well, of course we will stick around. But I think that this could be the reason I can sleep. Mm, let's go over here first. Now I have the purple keystone, so maybe we'll see if it will unlock anything else. Yep. Oops. The foot. Oh, hello. Okay, no, not Tom. Sorry. After we are done with this place, we will be rich. So rich. Sorry, I can't. Of course you can, you just don't want to. Um, okay, let's go over here first, I think. Plus, we need to look for those stashes. Right, did she give us um, any piece of paper? This is a keystone, keystone. We have a lot of keystones, okay, but she didn't give us anything. The slight leather helmet. Oh, sorry, it's heavy armor. I don't know how I made that mistake. Um, here it's open. Yeah. Interesting. Yep, very interesting. <clears throat> Fair nothing. As you approach the wall. What at first appeared to be a collection of haphazard stains, as uh, seems, on closer inspection, a deliberate creation. A procession of hands, handprints, all of them too large to be human, but about the right size to those of the beasts. Festoon the wall, though each in in, is varied in its shape and features. Sniffing at the assemblage of prints, kills in shadows says nothing as she examines the contours, contours of the many hands, placing her own paw against the mirror for comparison. The prints are all of similar style, a single cool mark of palm and splayed fingers. There is a considerable variety in the exact shapes and sizes of hand prints displayed. Mm. Examine the shapes. It soon becomes clear that nearly every print is distinguished from one another, some greatly so. Some prints sport bulbous palms, others rectangular, some fingers appear long and clawed, others stunted. A few even show signs of webbing between digits or joints that bend at odd angles. Compare the paint. 
You examine the prints individually, tracing your finger along the wool's surface to detect any noteworthy changes in texture. After a few moments, you determine that there are two distinct types of print. The first appear to be made with some sort of dark pigment uh, that flakes off at the touch. Many of these pigment-painted prints have faded, some to where only the palm is visible. The other style appears to be more an act of heat branding than paint layered on stone. These charcoal black handprints are slightly raised as if the stone had melted from the imprinter's touch. From the corner of your eye, these prints seem to shimmer with the reds and blues of the bane, but on direct observation, the prints always have a matte black finish. Short of cataloging the specific details of each print, you feel confident that you have given the wall a thorough investigation. Fingers outstretched, Kills in shadow places her right, then left hands atop the various prints, never finding a match to her own. After sizing her hand against a dozen others, she steps away from the mural and hungers her haunches in silence. What things offer to kills in shadows? The beast woman taps her arms against the stone floor in anticipation, her eyes scanning the mural intently. Seems safe to conclude this place was visited by the pa in the past by beastmen mystics. Anything else is conjecture. True, we can infer only that paint users and magic users gathered here. The rest is just fanciful speculation. With nothing further to examine, you give your eyes a rest and step away from the prince. As you turn away from the mural, Kills and Shadow sniffs at the ancient stone and paint a few more times before turning to follow your lead. Fade by not. Moment, please. Hungering before the mural, closing shadows bows her head in contemplation, a single tongue tapping against the painted old walls. Paint wall speaks of what kills and shadow already knows. Also speaks of what kills and shadow did not know. And what was it you already knew? Knew that beasts reprend pain since time before humans remember. Rivalry is old as old walls. Mm. See same rage and purpose in old paint walls that beast woman feels when hunt dreaming of pain. Mm. See tribes of old not flee from rage. Tribe war burden grew strong. This mural speaks to you. How so? Sorry. Am now thinking, is each tribe's way of claiming earth blood of land for best strength? Oh, of course, a reminder that each tribe has distinction. Manta born have hands for swimming, shadow hunters have fur to blend with night. Okay, where is this all going? Hmm. Does fate mind or not see? The beast woman emits a quiet, self-satisfied chaff as she lowers her posture. The edges of her fur and of horn begin to darken and blur, dimming from view. With each bling, the beast woman standing right before you seems to fall out of focus. Beast tribes often mag have magic akin to their surroundings. Perhaps your kind can draw from the old walls as well. Deep dark is heavy with mystic strength. Constant threat of bane opens eyes and ears. Makes kills and shadow eager, focused. Come, lead way to next weapon. Kills and shadow yearns for the hunter. Right. Ooh, she really gained new ability. Drowned in darkness. She gets, uh, she becomes invisible. Uh huh. She renders stealth for a short duration that scales based on drowned in darkness right now. Okay, that's interesting. I 
I don't think we use... No, we use both of those. I will use that. This was connected to this. Rubble, rubble, rubble. There's a room here. No, she was Do once again defeated by stairs. Maybe a passage will open over here, I doubt that. I don't see any other way, maybe from up here we could enter, but... Either from here, here... She really has problems climbing stairs. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, I noticed. I wonder how we can get over there. Okay, where are we now? Here. Will we have something new to say about this one? No. Can't do that. Yeah, I know. Um, let's see. I believe there was something locked in here. I just don't remember where it was. Come here. The problem with this one is that I don't really see any button connected to that. Hmm. No, you don't like that. Uh, okay, sorry, there is a button there. I just don't know how to activate it. And also this one. <laughs> I yeah, know we've been running around a lot. Who's... Okay. I thought so someone was defeated by stairs again. Um... I don't remember what this one activated. I got it. Whatever. Wait, can you use this now? No. And what do we have here? Infused shadows. Okay, so this is where we're now. Skill. So, the only thing left, two things left, that I understand currently, is this one keystone here, and... Oh. Fiddling with this one. We open this. Okay, of course I'm gonna save. Mm. Have a look here. Another find. 
No matter how old I get, the smell from the parchment never ceases to get me going. Almanac of Azure 420 for 422. If grain seal to turn on, I have some steamy reading for you. Minutes from the Arden Peace, a course of 419. A snore, even by my standards. What else? And then there's. Oh, back to Azure. Years 423 through 426, and well, that's all. Lantry sounds silent, absorbed in reading. Uh, may I take a look? See this page? Well, maybe don't bother with the whole thing, it's rather dense, but here's something fascinating. It's about House Varia and House Telox having a two span war over who owns some portion of what's now the South Eastern Stone Sea. Notice something unusual. So, two tribes of tearsmen have a fight and they invoke Grave and Ash's name before the fight. That seemed an er in error. Exactly! That feud happened in by many accounts, but the way it's described here? Nonsense! Tearsmen calling on Grave and Ash for favor before a battle? Come on now, that never would have happened. Some fools around here didn't even bother to learn the name of the fearsome general waiting across the isthmus to invade. Can you tell me when this was written? Was it penned back then or is it more recent? Oh, a good question to ask. With a twirl of a hand, uh, he produces a direct will and scrapes at the ink written with the correct margins. Hmm, minimal faking for a dark amber ink, probably not more than a few years old. Not encouraging. Huh. The chronicle is supposed to be the, the accurate record of all things, right? Are you doubting the chronicle? Yes, and this is not the first of these chronicle fragments of <coughs> questionable details. There is a entry's voice folders. Fuck. What exactly am I reading here? Anything? Anything else peculiar about the texts? Give it a good read. Whispering half-formed words under his breath, Lantry pours over the texts, rapidly devouring pages of long, flowing handwriting. No, the, the rest of it sounds like things I've known to be true. Details that are news to me, but within the realm of believable. Strange. It's just this one passage that screams out at me. The rest... This, the rest seems like poor chronicle reporting. Hmm. Let's look for more of these tomes. Maybe there's supporting information elsewhere. A wise point! Perhaps my knowledge is incomplete. Perhaps the other fragments have information that will explain or corroborate that what's written here. I should not be so quick to assume I have all the facts. That's enough rumination for now, let's be on our way. With any luck, we may find more of these chronicle fragments. Okay, let's do it the usual way. Boop. And you do this. And you do this. I'll be feeling that one for a bit. Consider it done. Okay, let's try, try this one because I think we <clears throat> we should have them. I think it's still not working, but we have torch keys from another old wolf. Okay, let's go pay a visit to 
Rift Talon. I really wanted to visit this place. <clears throat> but for now, I will end this part here. So, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.